Yes, we're now in the thick of those winter months with chilly winds, freezing temperatures and all of us pining for those warm summer days. Well, Handy Andy Ultra and Sunlight Dishwashing Liquids Brighten Your Home campaign is on the job, so no need to worry. And Chef Zolz is here to give myself and you at home and your family a way to warm those cold winter tummies. And I'm so glad that you have come in as a superhero this morning. I was freezing on my way into work. And yes. um, I don't seem to be alone in my pain. Don't worry, we're going to warm you up from the inside out with this delicious winter warmer. So today we're making a delicious stew because that's great to warm you from the inside, you know. So mm. we're making using oxtail because, you know, it's a great cut for stew. So should we just get cooking? Let's get cooking. And we love the fact that in winter we do get to indulge, um, you know, the, the comfort food, exactly. like hearty stews. So where do we start okay, with Okay, so I'm going to put you to work. Oxtail. So start okay. with some oil. So we've got some flavoured oil. You could use any oil, olive cool. oil or whatever. And then while you heat that up, I'm going to take, this is the oxtail, as I said. Just nice. dust it with some cake flour, regular oh, flour. Season it. Here, you do pepper, mm. I'll do salt. Okay, so we season it and we're going to just dust this. Nice. Alrighty. So you just want to coat it, and then you're gonna we're gonna brown it in the pot. Have I put enough oil there? You have. You have. Just get that around. Okay. Cool. Now, I know with dealing with kind of fattier cuts of meat, which you definitely need in your stews, and it also helps to release the flavors in the fat, starts to caramelize that fat. It mm. does. Yeah. Beautiful. Okay, so you want to get that all browned, and then let's go through the other ingredients here. We've got mirepoix. Mirepoix. Which is a nice. combination <laughs> of carrots, onions, and celery. We've got some garlic and some thyme for aromatics, some tomato paste, a bit of red wine, some stock, some tinned tomatoes, and a bit of sugar. Whenever you use tomatoes, you always want to use a bit of sugar. To balance it out. To balance acidity. it out. Okay. Yeah, lovely okay, so stuff. we're gonna okay. fast forward this process here cool. so what you do at home is actually cook it and brown it all over cool. okay then at that oh, point we're going to take it out of the pot again so take it out okay. for me all right okay. uh, can I you pop can it put, pop back, it into back our... in here that's fine there we go. okay and then we're going to get our mirepoix into the the pot oh, of course you now started to get all the essence of this beautiful meat exactly in our pot. okay there then we're going to get our vegetables in i'm going to add a little bit more oil just because it's it's a little dry in there. Oh, I'm loving this oil infused with chili and it garlic is. It's and all add sorts of extra, things. Extra flavor, but there's so much flavor in all of this anyway. You don't mm. need the, the flavored oil if you don't have it. Okay, oh. then we're going to go with our aromatics. So that's some. Um, you're not shy on the garlic. Oh eh? no, never shy on the garlic, especially when you're cooking it for such a long time. It mellows and it gets sweeter, yeah. so it's always good. Cool. Okay, Beautiful. then after that, oh, um, I'm going to add. Amazing. I'm going to hold the meat back and add that extra flour that we had in here. Okay. okay. So in there. That's going to serve as a bit of a that. thickener, huh? So here, at this point, you want to stir the flour so it coats all the veggies. Cool. Okay. Then I'm going to go in with some tomato paste. Get it in there. There you go. And this is also, it works as a thickener as well with the flour. Mm. And also, also adds lots of flavor. Okay, how are we looking? Oh, it's looking great. All good. Great. And then at this point, you want to deglaze with some red wine. All there right. we go. This is optional. You don't need to use the red wine, but it does add like a robust flavor. Mm, so and, and you want to get it in good. early so you can cook you off the alcohol. You do want to get it in early so you yeah. can evaporate all the alcohol. Then nice. we're going to go with some tinned tomatoes in here. Beautiful. Okay, oh, so that really goes in. And beautiful. then here I've got some beef stock. Nice. Add extra moisture. Of course, that moisture. you spent hours creating yourself. Yes, eh? I spent hours <laughs> opening a packet. <laughs> and then in with the oxtail, back in. Oops, oh, nice. look at that oh, mess. you're making a bit of a mess, I'm making but it's a bit okay. of a mess, but it's okay. Path of the course, all right. Okay, so Get then you're going to stir that all in. And Beautiful. then what you want to do is bring it to the boil and then we're going to simmer it. Okay. Okay. And then your stew's ready. So just make sure, because it's oxtail, yeah. it does cook for a really long time. So make sure you test it. And if it does run low on liquid, add a little bit more stock or a little bit more water and just simmer it gently. It all should right. take about two and a half to three hours. And the longer the better. You want all of those flavors to reduce. You want the, the you know, marrow inside the bone to, to come really out kind of and for the meat to actually fall off the bone. That's the key to the good stew. Oh, man, well, I'm loving it. And if you missed any of the steps thus far, of course, you have the opportunity um, to go through a play-by-play. -play. Let's do a little quick recap of how we created this incredible hearty oxtail stew. Coat oxtail in seasoned flour. Brown the oxtail, then set aside. Saute onions, carrots and celery until softened. Add remaining flour and coat the vegetables. Add the garlic, thyme and tomato paste. Deglaze the pan with the wine, then add the stock, tomatoes and sugar. Return the meat to the pot and simmer for three hours. Cooking with oil can be a messy affair, but with the power of 100 lemons, sunlight dishwashing liquid cuts right through the grease and make sure that all your cutlery and crockery sparkle. So no need to worry with this one pot wonder. And if you buy the pink labeled bottle this month, you can earn points and download free music too. 
For the full recipe, visit the Espresso Morning Show Facebook page or log on to expressoshow.com. You can also SMS the keyword STEW to 33728 to receive the shopping list on your phone. Just click on the link provided to view the recipe. SMS cost one rand fifty. no free SMSs and T's and C's apply. So there it is, as simple as that. If you missed any of those steps and you want that recipe sent directly to your phone or at least a link to that recipe, SMS the keyword STEW to 33728 and we'll do that for you. That SMS is going to cost you $8.50. All right, this is looking great. I think we're going to have to set this aside so it can do its two hours or Absolutely. three hours of duty. So we've got and one that's been simmering mm, there, so if you want to swap the two. And now as we move closer and closer to presentation yeah. time, uh, I'm guessing this is not going to work for, <laughs> no, for no, live no. TV, no? Okay, so you, <laughs> the important part is to clean as you go and it's really easy if you use a bit of handy andy here we go so i'm gonna and that's vital with, with, with so much action in our kitchen hygiene is paramount it is and even though the stew is going to warm you from inside out which is going to give you comfort also you can find comfort in that you're eating in an hyg in a hygienic clean Area. You're just okay. OCD and you have to clean. <laughs> that and that's too. your comfort. That that's okay. your comfort. Oh, well, this looks absolutely amazing. The meat is falling off the bone. Okay. So what are we going to um, have with our beautiful hot Okay, so stew? I've got a bit of mash here. You could uh, have it with rice. You could have it with pup. You could have it with whatever you desire. I was going to say pup is my chosen. Is pup your chosen? Okay. Yeah, accompaniment. I have to say. But, ooh, I love mash. Like I love a good awesome mash. Yeah. hearty mash. Really and it's good. traditional. Okay, then you do the honors and you spoon... Oh, okay. Big pieces of meat on there, and the oxtail you can see is all tender and it's all dark and it's rich. Can you smell that? I mean, can oh, you have that? looks amazing. Oh, okay, seeing as this is just for me, good. I'm going to take it oh, off. Oh, it's just for you, isn't it? <laughs> there we go. There we go. That looks and a amazing. And a bit more sauce, I think. Yeah. Okay? Oh, that looks good. There we go. You can arrange it as your that very looks keen good. eye. No doubt will. How delicious. Oh, that looks there absolutely go. amazing. <laughs> I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to season a little bit more, and I'm going to put a, a little bit of pepper, mm -hmm. and we're good to go. You can season for taste. I, I was going to just say, I'm going to take the whole thing and use the <laughs> giant spoon. Well, there you have it, a hearty winter warmer, and it was that easy to make. And Zola, as always, you have delivered the goods. Thank you so much, sweetheart. Pleasure, <laughs> always. You better get yourself a fork, actually. You, you deserve okay, a little a bit of taste. <laughs> Let's go for a bigger spoon. Sunlight dishwashing liquid washes up to two times more plates than its closest competitor.